It is now time to put our rocket together. In the first video, we made sure we selected the appropriate launch area. Remember, this included 1. A area free of any sharp objects. 2. 10 feet of space on all sides from any structures. And 3. An undamaged rocket body. First things first, we need to install the fins onto the foam rocket base. The best way to do this is to take the foam base and hold the top of it against your body while threading the fin into the slot on the foam base, like so. Next, take your rocket body and insert the inflation mouthpiece into the inflation valve located at the top of the rocket body. Be sure to insert it into the correct area for inflation. Once you get the mouthpiece in, you're going to inflate the rocket to 50% capacity. Now, we're going to insert our rocket body into the rocket base. An important part to look for while doing this are the two arrows that will align when the rocket is inserted correctly. It is important to note that these two arrows are aligned. Also, the rocket must be inserted far enough into the foam base that the white line on the rocket body is flush with the blue rocket base. Our next step is to take the balance ring and place that over the tip of the rocket body, 10 inches from the tip and within the guidelines which are marked on the rocket body. Now let's prepare our launch pad. First, let's insert the third leg. This is done by simply taking the leg lining it up on the base and sliding it into place. Once we get our third leg on, place the launch pad in the center of your launch area. Next, locate the two stability stakes. You'll need to insert these stakes into the two available slots on the launch pad base and proceed to sink them into the ground to lock the base into place. It's now time to lock down our rocket into the launch pad base. Notice that there is an arrow on the foam rocket base that instructs you to line it up with an arrow on the launch pad. Now lock your rocket body into the launch pad by pushing down at the bottom of the blue foam base. You should hear a click and in the lock pin window, a pin will appear once the rocket is properly secured. Once the rocket is securely fitted to the launch pad, you can fill up the water tank. It's important to wait until the rocket is secured to the launch pad before we add water to the water tank. Add water until the water tank is completely full. Not adding enough water will result in a failure to launch or an incomplete launch. Once the water tank is full, insert the cap correctly aligned with the tabs as noted on the pump hose and securely tighten the cap. We're now ready to proceed to the next video for launching instructions.